Hey and welcome back to another video. So in today's video what we're going to look at is how we can actually manage and add images to our SwiftUI apps. So let's get straight into it. Okay cool. So when you're actually working with images in Xcode they're actually all normally managed within the assets folder here. Now I've actually broken down and discussed the asset folder um, in terms of how you can add an app icon in a previous video. So if you're interested in watching that, I'll actually leave a link to that at the top of the video here. In the assets folder, this is where we add our images. Now, when you actually open up a um, folder, if you're someone who's working on an existing project, you may see people have actually added images to the actual folder within the Xcode project. Now, you probably don't want to do this, and the reason why you don't want to do this is so, is because it doesn't allow you to actually set the right scale for the image for your device, and we'll get into that into a bit more detail. So, when you're actually working with images in Xcode, there's actually supports four formats. So it supports PNGs, JPEGs, SVGs, and you can also use PDFs as well. But what we're going to be working with is this set of images that I've just created here. So let us open up this folder. You'll notice I've got some PNGs and some SVGs as well. Now, you might notice that the PNG is actually different to the SVGs. And the reason why that is, is because PNGs are not scalable. So they're not scalable vector graphics like an SVG is where the system can scale up the image. So when you're working with PNGs and JPEGs, what you need to do is you actually need to provide the image at 1x. So 1x is one times the size, so the size of the image, 2x, which is double the size of the first image, 1x, and 3x, which is 3x the size of the first image as well. And the reason why that is, is because on iPhones, they have more and more pixels depending on what device you're using so that the image is crisp and clear depending on the device that you're viewing the image on. You'll also notice as well when working with the PNGs, and this is the same for JPEGs as well, that you actually need to annotate the sizes for the images. So for example, you'll see here that for the first image, 1x, I haven't added 1x on the end of it. But for the second image, I've added 2x. And for the third image, I've added 3x, just to so that when I drag this image into Xcode, it automatically picks up the sizing for me. So let's actually see how we can add in PNGs to Xcode. So in order to do this, all we need to do is just simply go into Xcode, and we can do this one or two ways, either A, the first way we could do it is we could actually drive, directly drag the image into this section here which is what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to highlight all three of the images and I'm just going to drag them in. And as you can see, because I've actually labeled them 1x, 2x and 3x, Xcode has automatically picked up the sizing for me. So I don't need to worry about that. Also as well, if we wanted to, what we could do is we could actually hit the plus button and we could actually go to import and we could actually go to our images folder and actually select all the images that we want to import as well, like so. So that's the import it similarly again. So now we've got both our images. But I'm just going to delete this one now. So that's how we work with adding PNGs into Xcode. But how do we actually add in something like an SVG or a PDF? Well, similarly again, um, except this time we need to just do a few more tweaks. So what I'm going to do is just open up our SVG folder and I'm actually going to drag it in like so. Okay, cool. Rather than us having the 1x, 2x, and 3x. Instead, what we need to do is we actually need to choose single scale. So let's choose single scale. And then now what will happen is that we're actually able to use our SVG within our application. So when you're working with PD PNGs and JPEGs, you want to make sure that you have 1x, 2x, and 3x selected. But when you're working with SVGs, you want to make sure that you have single scale selected. How do we actually use this within Xcode? Well, all we need to do is just use the image view and actually just reference the name of the image within our Swift UI code. So let's do that now. So what we're going to do is go into our content view. I'm just going to add the image like so. So now I've left the image as an empty string. But what we want to do is if we want to show our PNG image, what we need to do is we need to make sure that we're using the exact same name here within the asset catalog. So I'm just going to type out logo. Cool. 
And once that finishes building, you should now see the image in the application. Now, right now, the image is absolutely huge. And the reason why that is, is because if you actually look at the size of the image, it's 1,879 by 1,879, which is huge. So what we actually need to do is we actually need to apply some modifiers to actually resize this image and actually make it um, shrink in size. So in order to do that, on the image, what we need to do is apply a modifier called resizable which will allow us to resize our image like so. And then what we can do is we can actually apply a modifier onto our image to actually set a frame on it in height and width, something like 100 by 100. So let's do that now. So we're gonna use the frame modifier and we're gonna say 100 by 100 like so. And now you can see that our image looks a lot better. So we can control the height and the width of our image um, by using the resizable, which allows us to resize the image, and then we can apply a frame onto it as well. So what I wanna do now is actually show you how this looks when we actually use our SVG. So our SVG, if we go back to our assets folder, was called logo-alt. So let's just rename this to logo-alt. And as you can see, with our SVG image, it's the exact same and it scales nice and well within our Swift UI preview. So it looks all good. Okay, sweet. So one last thing that I want to talk about when we're actually working with images is how we can actually organize them as well. So when you're working with an assets folder, you don't want to have like a bunch of images and you don't really know like what they relate to. So what you can actually do when you're actually working with images in the assets folder is apply a um, folder so what we're going to do is just right click and then we can hit new folder from selection and this will actually add our images image into a new folder so i could create a folder called logos so if i just hit enter so i can change the name of it so i could just create this called logos and i can actually drag them into this folder so it's just more nice and neater so now we can actually view all our images within this folder now you may be wondering why can't I see the face here? It's because the SVG size is so big and it's not able to actually scale it down. But in our content view, when we actually run it on the preview, looks fine, our SVG. Okay, cool. So that was just a quick video on how we can actually work with images, how we can add um, you know, sizing, how we can resize them as well so we can make them scale to the size that we want. If you have any feedback for this video, I'd really appreciate it if you left in the comment section below. Also as well, if you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you gave it a like. And if you haven't already, you can subscribe to the channel by hitting the subscribe button and hitting the notification bell to get updates whenever I release a new video. That's everything from me. I'll catch you all in a bit. Deuces.